G'day guys, Big Rob, coming at you on the Landslug 2004 Kawasaki Vulcan Nomad 1500ccs of I'm already sweating my balls off. It's a hot one. It's 10.30 in the morning, it's already 38 degrees Celsius, so yeah, let's enjoy the day. Woo! Anyway, here I am. I'm out here enjoying the ride. It's a little bit windy. It's not too bad though. But uh, yeah, yeah, enjoying the weather. Aussie summer, mate. It is currently New Year's Eve, 10.30 in the morning. I've got a couple of little errands to run before I go into work for night shift. Surprise, surprise. What's, what am I always doing? But yeah, my question that I'm going to be raising is Is it okay to be a fair weather rider? And look, trust me, I understand the irony that uh, I've got right now of, uh, It's 10.30 it's in the morning, it's 38 degrees on New Year's Eve and I'm bloody loving it It's an absolute ripper of a time However, you know, I've also done my time Ride pretty much all through winter. We're lucky over here in Australia. We pretty much only have to uh, not ride for a, a, yeah, a few weeks here and there, maybe. If that. Normally when it comes to winter, you just chuck an extra layer on and go, well, fuck it, I'm going to get a bit wet. But then again, I've also ridden the freezing temperatures where it's that cold that, you know, if you fart, you end up with a bloody ice block in your pants. So I do consider myself very lucky for the fact that, uh, I am not like people in yeah, Europe and the UK and parts of America and Canada where you got to lock your bikes up for the winter. Man, that sucks. I would not be down for that. It would not be enjoyable. But my question is, is it okay to be a fair weather rider? Is it okay to be one of those people that spends all your hard earned money on a bike and you only ride it once or twice a year? You only take it out if the road is perfect. If if the weather is doing exactly what you want it to, if you're not going to get too wet, too cold, are you, are you going to be okay to be that guy that only puts a few Ks onto your bike every year? Sneak on through. My answer to that is, yeah, yeah, that's perfectly all right. 100%. You ride how you want to ride. Don't let anyone tell you or mock you if you don't want to ride in the wet weather and things like that. Because, yeah, look, well, as we can sit here and say, no, it's good, you've got to build your skills up and, and, and be prepared for anything. That is 100% true. I do agree with that, definitely. However, if you're not enjoying it, you're not having fun, then don't bloody do it. Alrighty, let's get up onto the footpath here. Park her up and check the mail. It's not too man, cool. Now that I've uh, got the mail, <sighs> bit of a scrape there. Ah. The uh, the clearance of the landslide leaves a little bit to be desired. Yeah, so. <laughs> 
I've seen a lot of times on the forums and, and things like that, not so much on the YouTube channels, although on some of the YouTube channels, I, uh, I will post a link to uh, Bikes, Beers and Brews who, um, yeah, he made uh, Grinds My Gears, which is a fucking awesome uh, series there. Absolute piss and well worth a watch. I'll put a link to the video he made about this exact subject. It's a bit of a different view than me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But my thing is, I've seen a lot of times on the forums and stuff like that, people going, ah, oh, shit, the weather's too wet, it's, it's too cold. I'm going to put my bike away for the winter, and then someone instantly chimes in and says, you're not a real biker, you're not a real man. You should be riding through all weather. Yeah, I'm like, I see that, and it's like, I don't, I don't chime in and I don't get involved in, in it because it's not my bag, baby. I can't be bothered being any part of arguments or anything like that. I just, I don't want anything to do with that. However, I do feel if if things don't meet your certain criteria for riding, you should not feel bad about that because the, the bike is a personal thing. It is, it is something that, that you do for yourself. It's what you enjoy doing. And at no point should you let someone else take that away from you. And if, if you're that type of person that you see someone who is only enjoys their bike on a certain times and, and only you know only wants to ride for certain things and you mock them for that you're mocking someone for enjoying their thing man that, that's a bit of a dick move in my eyes but yeah i do agree with some of the other people out there that do say it is good to ride in all conditions so you do get used to it and you build your skills up uh that that i that i agree with that that you know if, if you can find the time to go out and ride in a little bit of the weather by all means, definitely do that. However, don't feel bad if you don't want to go for a ride up to the hills when it's pissing down with rain or if it's going to be your know, shit all over the road. That, that's not fun. That's not fun. I do it. I've got the full wet weather gear that I use when I commute into work during, during winter. Now, I, if it's pissing down with rain, I'm not going to get in the bike and leave then. No way. If it looks like it's only going to rain on my way home, I'm going to get caught in it then. Well, then that's a bit of a different story. I can come home and have a shower, but, you know, the wet weather gear, it's... <laughs> no matter how good they say it is, it is still not 100% that good where it will, you know, keep you all dry. So I don't want to get to work and start my day in the pissing down rain. So yeah, in conclusion to that rant, is it okay to be a fair weather rider to only ride it and put a, you know, a few k's or miles onto your bike a year for those times that you're only going to truly enjoy being on it? If you're in that situation where you can have the bike and do that, by all means, do that. Enjoy it. Be a fair weather rider. Don't be a dick. Be good to one another. I'm going to enjoy this sunshine. I fucking love Australia, mate. <laughs> Alright, big roll out. Woo!